Hello everyone, this is Jim Bobby 2 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, the continuation of the line of sight guides, uh, which is going to be a couple different guides that I'm coming out that deal around line of sight and the uh, essentially different parts of the game outside of uh, outside of playing it. So today's guide is going to be focused mainly on your character customization and uh, essentially the more particularly the equipment or uniform that he's wearing. So to start your customization for your character, you're going to want to go up to equipment. You're going to want to click on equipment and it's going to bring up this choose character screen. Everyone should have one character that is already unlocked for them. Uh, for me, it's John Fremont. After uh, you've made sure that the character you want is you want to customize is selected, uh, you want to come down here and hit select. And then after that, you'll be brought into the customization screen. And there's two different things uh, off the beginning that you kind of need to know about this is one, the difference between these two tabs over here, the equipment and the appearance tab, as well as down here in the bottom left, which is the stats tab. So the only time these stats will actually change is if you're in the equipment tab. But the only time that these stats are actually going to change is if you're in the uniform setting of the equipment tab. So uh, these really aren't uh, important unless you're changing your uniform, but I'll get to that uh, when we're actually on the uniform tab. So to start out, we're going to look at the different helmets available in game. So I'm going to click on helmets and there's four main helmets in the game as of right now. Now all these helmets do not in any way, shape or form give you head protection or any other, other type of body protection. These are just purely cosmetic helmets that can be bought for 120 gems which is in the premium currency. So, essentially, you can see uh, in the bottom left over the stats as I go over each of the different ones that uh, your head protection and body protection values are not changing. So all these are just purely cosmetic. And after you've purchased a helmet, you can also get it in different types of uh, camos, which you can select, but getting it in a camo is of course uh, an extra uh, charge and gems so I'm gonna put this back to default so those are the uh, selections for helmets but as we go over here into the uniform we'll talk a little bit more about how the uniforms affect your stats to begin with so everyone's given the mark light BDU which is uh, just the regular uniform that comes uh, essentially free for your character and it's extremely balanced it only offers 10 body protection but gives you uh, originally 81 speed. I chose to go for the Mark BDU, which is one step up that gave essentially 10 more body protection, but at the cost of speed, which is what most of these actually do. So as you can see, as I go over these, the values on the right, the orange values to the right in your stats box change based on, on the uh, different uniforms that you're either hovering over or have selected. So there's a couple things that you need to think about when picking a uniform. Uh, if you're a rifler in the game, which normally involves a lot of running, I would suggest getting something at least the Merc BDU uh, because it really uh, it gives you the best body protection versus speed loss ratio. So I think that uh, that's probably the best one to get if you're a rifler in the game. But uh, if you're a sniper on the other hand, since you're more than likely not going to be as mobile as someone who's going to be uh, rifling, you're probably going to want something more at the uh, the Merc uh, BPU, which uh, essentially gives more body protection but at more cost of speed. And so, and these other two, the Merc EPU and the Merc PPU, they also have a couple different uh, a couple different functions. But uh, I find that. At least for me, the BDU suffices for uh, for me since my main role in the game would be rifling, whereas the BPU is more meant for us people who snipe who aren't as uh, aren't as mobile. Uh, of course, all these, similar to the helmet, you're allowed to change all your different camos, as well as the camos of essentially your rigs on your guy. So your uh, essentially your vest and some of the uh, holsters on your leg. I'm going to clear all this once again, except for uh, except for a basic one. And now we're going to move on to appearance. Now in the appearance tab, you're going to be given a lot more to choose from. Once again, none of these affect any of your stats. 
All these are purely cosmetic, and of course, all these can pretty much just be bought for the premium currency in the game. So here's the hat slash cap, and this is a quick note. As far as I know, wearing a hat while wearing a helmet does not work. See, you see what I mean? So if you have a hat on and you try to select a helmet, your helmet will not appear. It'll be mainly just your hat. And of course, all the hats have different camos that you can choose from. And as always, they're purchased with gems. So for that hat, we're gonna go over to hair. And they have a couple different hairstyles, but they're all kind of uh, different, I guess, uh, to say it lightly. Uh, essentially, you can choose colors too. And as always, purchase purchased with gems. And this ink is a little different. Uh, you can get different types of tattoos. Well, it's not so much tattoos as essentially body paint, but they have different uh, different ones that you can choose from, and they go at different spots. But what you can do is over here in this position, if you move the slider, it will actually move the body paint to different parts. And of course, you can also make it larger, you can make it smaller, uh, rotate it, you cannot rotate it. All that stuff choose colors once again everything purchasable by gems next up is eye protection and you get a couple different types of glasses those are my personal favorites I haven't unlocked them yet but if i ever do those will probably be the ones that i get and some of these do come in camos at least the uh the frames do but as always purchasable by gems also masks there's uh, different different types available. Oh, forgot to take off the uh, glasses. There we go. Uh, different types of masks available. As always, it can be done in different camos. You even get a little bit of uh, Jason in there with the hockey mask. Uh, as always, purchasable by gems. And cut off. Last thing is the beards. Uh, a couple different beards, not many. Uh, but yeah, pretty much like everything else. All purchasable by gems but anyways that's the basics to customizing your character uh, i'm hoping that they actually flesh out character customization a little bit i feel like some of the options are uh kind of dull and they can fix some things especially the whole if you're wearing a helmet your helmet doesn't show up because you have a hat on so i guess that's something i think that they need to uh, look at and maybe fix but as far as the rest of the uh, customization of your soldier I think they definitely have room to add new things for your appearance but I also think that they should look to, uh, to maybe make some things uh, more fleshed out like the hats you get to choose from four solid hats so it'd be kind of nice to see maybe a couple different ones uh, same with uh, I guess beards because there's only a couple but I'm not sure how many people are into you know getting a whole bunch of different beards on their guy but but I think that would be something. But they got they got a lot of places that they can go with this. I, I kind of dislike that all of it's premium currency. I mean, I think that they could, uh, the developers could maybe make some things at least maybe even rentable, like uh, the rest of the weapons in this game. But uh, we'll see we'll see what direction they, uh, they take the customization of characters and uh, see if they add to it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this guide for character customization in the line of sight, I ask for a uh, thumbs up. If you guys dislike this guide, give me a thumbs down. And as always, guys, please subscribe.